To ensure your safety, turn off the power switch and unplug the power cord from its electrical outlet in these situations. To ensure your safety, turn off the power switch in these situations. While sewing, keep an eye on the needle and keep hands away from all the moving parts. Turn off the power switch. Insert the foot control pin connector into the jack. Insert the machine plug into the power inlet. Insert the power supply plug into the wall outlet. Turn on the power switch. The machine will start running when the start stop button is pressed. The machine starts running slowly for the first few stitches and it then runs at the speed set by the speed control slider. The machine will stop when pressed a second time. The machine runs slowly as long as the start-stop button is being pressed. The start-stop button cannot be used when the foot control is connected to the machine. Depress the foot control to start the machine. The further down you press on the foot control, the faster the machine runs. When these patterns are selected, the machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is pressed. Release the button to sew forward. If you press the reverse button when sewing any other patterns, the machine will immediately sew locking stitches and automatically stop. When these patterns are selected, the machine will immediately sew a locking stitch when the auto lock button is pressed. The machine will automatically stop. If you press the auto lock button when sewing any other patterns, the machine will sew a locking stitch at the end of the current pattern. The machine will automatically stop. Press the needle up-down button to bring the needle up or down. The machine will stop with the needle up or down depending on the needle position determined by this button. When you start to sew with the needle up position, the machine will stop in the needle up position. When you start to sew with the needle down position, the machine will stop in the needle down position. Sewing speed can be varied by the speed control slider according to your sewing needs. To increase sewing speed, move the slider to the right. To decrease sewing speed, move the slider to the left. The LCD display shows the following information when the machine is turned on. Stitch pattern number, identification letter for recommended foot, stitch width, stitch length, and cursors. Press the cursor buttons to move the cursor under the stitch pattern number. Press the value set buttons to change the stitch pattern number. The number will increase or decrease by one each time you press the value set button.
Press the left button to move the cursor under the tens digit of the stitch pattern number. The number will increase or decrease by 10 each time you press the value set button. Draw the stitch chart drawer to the right. The stitch chart indicates all the available stitch patterns. Press the cursor buttons to move the cursor under the stitch width. Press the up button to increase stitch width. Press the down button to decrease stitch width. Press the cursor buttons to move the cursor under the stitch length. Press the up button to increase stitch length. Press the down button to decrease stitch length. The ideal straight stitch has threads locked between two layers of fabric as illustrated. If you look at the top and bottom of the seam, notice that the stitches are evenly balanced. Adjustment may be necessary according to the stiffness and thickness of the fabric, number of fabric layers, or type of stitch. The bobbin thread shows through on the right side of the fabric and the stitch feels bumpy. Turn the dial to a lower number to loosen the needle thread tension. The needle thread shows through on the wrong side of the fabric and the stitch feels bumpy. Turn the dial to a higher number to tighten the needle thread tension. The extension table provides an extended sewing area and can be easily removed for free arm sewing. Pull the table away from the machine. Accessories are stored inside the extension table. Free arm is useful for sewing tubular garments and for darning knee or elbow areas. The drop feed lever is located underneath the free arm bed on the back of the machine. Before button sewing, lower the feed dog. To drop the feed dog, push the lever in the direction of the arrow, one. To raise the feed dog, push the lever in the direction of the arrow, two, and turn the hand wheel towards you. The feed dog must be up for normal sewing. Turn off the power switch before changing the foot. Always use the proper foot for the selected pattern. Raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. Raise the presser foot and press the lever on the back of the foot holder. Place the selected presser foot so that the pin on the foot lies just under the groove in the foot holder. Lower the presser bar to lock the foot into place.